Hello everybody, Jedi270 here from Airsoft RX and TX911Gear.com. You're looking at the WEG39C refit. Um, like I do with just about every single one of my guns, I make it a little bit more me. Uh, this one I got from my son Pyro and I immediately started uh, doing some work to it. Up here on the front is a Mad Bull silencer. This is the 5th Group Special Forces one. This one was given to me by my good friend Thomas Giles. Um, common friend on my Facebook page. One of my subscribers. A great young man. Um, right up here on top is my GMP EOTech 553 sight. Uh, down here on the front is a UTG nylon uh, vert grip that has a Schwinn bicycle BMX uh, grip cut down. See how close you can get in there. Then I took this edge right here and I put that ring on the bottom, as you can see there. And uh, what I did was I shot the body. I took this thing down as low as it would freaking go, <coughs> even taking out the fake uh, piston system up in the front. Um, it has no flash hider now. It used to have a bird cage because I had the uh, uh, Mad Bull. Gym Tech Halo on there, but now it's got this one on there. I like this one a lot better. Um, it marries up well with the paint scheme, and then the body I did in a Duracoat uh, tan. So basically, what we're going to do is we're just going to shoot it a little bit, dry fire it, give you guys a look at the action like we did on the DMR, and then the KWA LM4 build is underway. I'm waiting on a new wrench because I busted my AR wrench, so I'm waiting on a new one to come in from RX. Uh, it's the speed wrench. We'll cover that when it gets here. And the new sniper grip. So let's uh, semi-automatic. Full auto. This mag, I just put like a 13-second charge on it. And you notice it goes through gas quickly. It is a gas hog. This is not a very efficient mag. And I know there's some guys out there that's going to say, Oh, Jedi, you got a lemon. No, not really. I mean, give or take, you're going to get a bunch of different... Uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You're going to get a bunch of different results. Uh, because each mag is built a little bit different, in my belief. Uh, they're similar... But I don't think there's a whole lot of quality check going on on the magazines. But like I said, that was a 12 to 13 second shot. Is that what I said? Mm -hmm. And um, that's what I get out of it. And it's about 80 degrees out here today. Um, does it mean it's a bad rifle? No, not at all. Um, a lot of the issues that we had with it when uh, Pyro first got it had been worked out. It was dropping BBs out at 20 feet. And just a little quick hop up adjustment took care of that. Um, it does tend to want to come off of its hop-up adjustment a little bit easier than some guns do by WE. But look, man, 230 bucks for this stock, okay? And I'm telling you, if you're new to GBBRs and you want to get one, this is a great gun to start off with because $230, it can't be beat. So go out and pick yourself up one. Tinker around with it. If anything else, if you're like a an avid... Uh, Tacker, uh, Airsmith, uh, somebody that's going to work on this gun and build it up and make it a little bit more you, then this is a great gun to do it with. This is the Jedi 270 from Airsoft RX and TX911Gear.com. We thank you for watching.